Well, the drama of our Star Wars Outlaws continues to get even worse now. I'm sure many of you are very aware about the issues with the pricing of this game right now, with the special editions really offering what the true experience of the game really is. Because on Ubisoft's website, there are four different versions you can buy into to be able to play this game. You got the standard edition, which is your normal $69.99. Pretty nice price right there. You get the base game. You know, so your pre-order bonus is a cosmetic pack for your speeder and a cosmetic for your Trailblazer space. Well, the next step up, the Gold Edition gives you three-day early access, so really, that's the actual launch of the game, not this standard version, which is probably going to be the most common version you, people are going to buy into. It's going to be this version right here, because three days early isn't three days early. That's day one. And even though it's a single-player game, you still get a season pass to come along with it. It comes with the cosmetic and exclusive mission. Then with the Unlimited Edition, you get the base game, pre-order bonuses being the same thing as the other pre-order bonus three day early access, a season pass and more cosmetic bundles along with an art book. All this for $130. Or you can buy in the Ubisoft's version of Game Pass for $17.99 a month. And that's where the big issue is coming up right now. And was recently confirmed by Ubisoft that this mission that's tied to the more expensive versions of the game was one, shown in advertising and two, a crucial part of the game. Now we've seen this done before plenty of times within video games, adding in extra little bonuses or early access with games for pre-ordering the more expensive fancy version for these publishers to get more money out of the player base. This is a practice almost as old as pre-ordering itself. But why are fans particularly upset about these versions you can pre-order? Because it was just confirmed by Ubisoft that Star Wars Outlaws Jabba the Hutt mission locked behind paid season pass. That's right, one of the most important characters within the Star Wars universe is locked behind a paywall. Now I'm sure even some of you out there in the comments are like, well, what's the issue with that? We've seen exclusive missions when it comes to other games in the past as well. But Jabba is one of the most important characters within the Star Wars universe. To tie that character behind a paywall is criminal in my opinion. I think that the reason why fans are more upset about this because we saw Jabba right here within the most recent trailer that was showcased and people were already downvoting these trailers on YouTube because of the monetization behind the game. As you can see on the Star Wars channel itself that the like to dislike ratio, while it's not 100% accurate as it measures the people who use the Chrome attachment to be able to measure these dislikes, but still 34,000 likes compared to 56,000 dislikes. And this is on the Star Wars channel. It gets even worse on the Ubisoft YouTube channel where you get 36,000 likes to 135,000 dislikes. So when a scene with Jabba has such an important part within the trailer, it gives the players the impression, oh, I get to jump in and play that mission. No, you don't, unless you fork over a lot of money to play the game. And this is the reason why I showcase these different editions within the first part of this video, because the gold edition or the ultimate edition gives you the pre-order bonus and season pass of getting Jabba's Gambit as an exclusive mission. And it gets tied behind a paywall, which is either $110 or $130 US. This totally reminds me of back in 2017 when we found out how much time you'd have to put into playing Star Wars Battlefront 2 to unlock one of the most important characters within the game, Darth Vader, and people were saying this is going to take up to 40 hours to unlock Darth Vader in Battlefront 2, and that was just be able to unlock and then play him. Again, this is one of the most important characters within the game to put such a substantial grind behind one of the, the most, if not the most important characters within the Star Wars universe, was obviously not appreciated by the community. This is a legitimate, just straight up expensive paywall of one of the most important characters within the Star Wars universe, advertised within the main trailer of the game to then just not be able to play it for a lot of people, clearly left many unhappy with the business practices made by Ubisoft. But this time around, Jabba is just straight up paywall. You will not be able to play again one of the most important characters within the universe of Star Wars because Ubisoft's like, give me more money, please. I would have to think that this would just have to be a way to incentivize people to go into their Game Pass version, right? Like we were just showcasing earlier with the Ubisoft Plus, where you get $17.99 a month. Maybe you can just cancel it and play for that month. But then even then, like, I don't want to feel like I, my time with a game is limited. Plus, you won't be able to own that game. So once you unsubscribe from Ubisoft Plus, well, you don't have that game anymore, which obviously we do know. Then a Ubisoft executive said that gamers need to become comfortable with not owning their games, which that in itself is a major issue. Take it, for example, most recently, the Fallout show, right? It's been super successful and game one to make people jump in and play Fallout. All the Fallout games out there have been seeing a huge population increase. Fallout 4 is seeing a massive increase and also Fallout 76 actually seen a new 
24 hour peak concurred player count because of the popularity of the show. And the reason why people are able to do this is because, well, they own the game so they can hop back and jump in whenever they'd like. Imagine if a great Star Wars show comes out and you want to jump in and play your favorite Star Wars game. And that happens to be Star Wars Outlaws, right? Well, then you have to jump back in and pay again to be able to play the game because you won't own it. Ultimately, what I'm trying to say is that this current payment model sucks and what's stopping ubisoft from eventually removing the game completely from their servers they're currently doing this right now with another game called the crew versus ubisoft reportedly revoking the crew from owners libraries following server shutdown meaning they're just straight up taking the game that you paid money for this is back when you they didn't have any subscription services for the crew it was just an online car racing game which was a pretty cool open world idea to then now just completely remove it from your library like oh did you buy into this game well sorry we're taking it away from you now and you heard me right like this game's completely being removed saying also due to the game's always online nature all single player content would cease to be available as well and let me tell you the community has commented strongly back about this entire process on the ubisoft channel for this trailer it's the top comment is she has a higher microtransaction count than even mass Master Yoda. One of the top comments also echoing what I've been saying within this video, saying the single player game with day one DLC, that means that the $70 price tag does not include chunks of the game that are already finished. Insane behavior. And I totally agree with that. And I do love this one saying Ubisoft told us to be comfortable not owning our games. I'm going to be very comfortable not buying this. That's definitely one way of not owning the game. Now there still might be time to tweak things up a little bit with enough community outrage because we do see that the release date is going to be on August 30th of this year. So a little bit earlier in that release cycle that we normally see. I think it's a great time for this game to release. So there still is enough time, I think, to fix things up to have it hopefully right the ship in some way. But we know that these are executives. They are, are All they care about is the numbers and trying to min-max their profits when it comes to every single game that they ever create. And so I don't really see this really changing unless we have universal industry-wide outrage, which we're getting a strong amount of pushback from the community itself, but it needs to reach on beyond that. And I don't really know if we're going to see that with this game. I think Jabba might still remain tied behind a paywall. This just really sucks because I want to play this game. It looks like it'd be a fun experience and have it marred by these min-maxing microtransactions. It just gets really annoying. And you know there's going to be a shop tied to this game as well, like Assassin's Creed Mirage. And this is so much more than just like, don't like it, don't buy into it. But the problem is that this practice continues to happen and they will continue to push that envelope on what can they parse out from the main game to make people want to incentivize to pay more to play the game. If you disagree, let me know in the comments. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to tap a like, subscribe if you want to stay up to date with gaming. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.